Yo, what's up guys? We're going to be talking about the worst unique units in Age of Empires 2. Now, I don't know what's going on, but I just can't stop myself from making the worst or the most useless unit list. I think they're just the most fun list to make because they always get the strongest reactions from the comments. Everyone's always like, how, how dare you say this unit is useless? I just won a campaign using this unit the other day, bro. This unit is so sick. And I just have so much fun reading those comments. So I, I don't know. I just, we're doing another one of these videos. So today we're going to be doing the top five worst unique units in AOE 2. I was going to say top five most useless unique units, but honestly, that was a little too harsh, so I had to tone it down a little. So anyways, let's hop into the list. Actually, before we hop into the list, check out Gameplay Channel, check out my Twitch. If you want to be a better human being, just check out those two links. It's going to change your life, I promise you. All right, going to the list. All right, starting off at number five here, we're going to be talking about the Jaguar Warriors. Now, we're going to start off pretty light here. Jaguar Warriors aren't that bad, but I honestly feel like they're just not that great either. They got buffed recently getting an extra Pierce Armor, so they're actually pretty tanky right now. But the problem is, like, Aztec Champions are usually just more or less better than Jaguar Warrior in every scenario. Yes, Jags get an attack bonus versus infantry units, but what infantry unit doesn't die to Aztec Champions? You know what I mean? I feel like Jaguar Warriors only come in in certain unique cases, when you're up against maybe like goth when you're up against some heavy infantry spam but in most cases even if you're up against like regular infantry aztec champions with that plus four attack from garland wars is more than fine they also get gambesons as well so you're gonna be completely fine just rocking the aztec champions and for that reason i just feel like jack warriors never really see any play and they're also just not that well-rounded of a unit not that strong overall so they're kind of forgettable number five they're not the worst but they're pretty bad Moving on to number four, it pains me to put it here, guys. Teutonic Knights just have to earn a spot on this list. Uh, they're simply too easy to play against because of how slow they are. They have received a number of buffs, but the buffs are like so random. The Teutonic Knights have like a ton of melee armor and then they buffed them and gave them more melee armor. Like what that is never really made sense to me personally but yeah i'm not sure what teutonic knights are up to these days they're sometimes pretty good actually when you're you know you're up against pikemen you've been on knights all game then you switch bam teutonic knights all of a sudden it could be hard to deal with them and against some matchups like two versus celts if you go to teutonic knights celts have nothing except siege to fight that so in some matchups they could be good but in general they're pretty expensive and they're quite slow and they're just hard to make work as a main unit but yeah it is a fan favorite uh, guys i love this unit too it's so much fun to play just it being bad is not going to stop me from playing it by the way i still enjoy a good teutonic knights game so i try to squeeze them in when i can but there's no denying it they are probably earning that number four slot all right, moving on to number three. Now, this unit is not like the Tonic Knights. I actually hate this unit number three. I've tried to make it work and I've lost games like just because I tried to go for this. If I went for anything else, I would have won and it's just so infuriating. And that is the Arumi Swordsman. Now on paper, Arumi Swordsman actually sound pretty good. They get that charge attack. If you get wood steel, they can ignore armor, but the unit just sucks in practice. And I think the reason for that is the zero pierce armor. They have nothing, chicken legs, absolute chicken legs. They die to anything with range. They're not that strong in melee combat for some reason. They, they should be but when i use them they're just not working out so well they're just dying to like cavalry and stuff even like hisar they're just losing to which is so weird i could be wrong in a room swordsman let me know about the comments guys this is the one where i could be wrong about this it could just be personal results that have just not been going well for me but i just personally think this unit's terrible right now maybe a small buff to the pierce number could help out a little bit but i see no reason to go for a room swordsman when you can go for some of the other options that dravidians have definitely would take champions over Arumi 10 out of 10 times regardless of the situation so anyway let me know if i'm wrong about this guys in the comments below this is where bring out those comments did you guys win any campaigns with this unit let, let me know about those uh but in, in all seriousness i actually do want to know about this one in particular but anyways moving on to number two all right, at number two, we've got, this is also another kind of fan favorite. I don't know if you guys are liking the War Elephant these days, but the War Elephant is going to be at number two. And uh, the reason why I don't really like this unit as far as like it being a strong unit overall, well, first of all, there's no denying it's a strong unit. Like forget about chicken legs. War Elephant has not skipped like that in years. Like this guy is absolutely buff. He's massive. He's huge. It's a, it's a unit. It's walking you down. It's very scary. It's very strong. But the problem is it just has too many hard counters. How would you usually this fantastic against it? Monks are great great against war elephants because of course persians do not get heresy and so war elephants in general just end up falling a little flat sometimes for me personally it could be good in team games i suppose or like those really boomy maps like mishi and black forest could definitely see war elephants being like quite strong in those areas and those maps but overall as a unit it's probably one of the worst unique units in the game right now i think it could use a small buff like if you just give it a little bit extra speed that could go a long way i think that would be a nice little buff for the persian war elephant and it, it could just be that persians are also not the best sieve overall in most cases and that's why war elephant is kind of like hard to see a lot of play as well who knows but anyways war elephant for me is that number two 
All right, guys, before I talk about number one, which is probably pretty obvious to those who watch my videos, because I didn't make a video quite similar to this where I talked about number one. But anyways, before I show you guys that one, we're gonna talk about an honorable mention here. And this is a little wild, but I'm gonna put this Sergeant as an honorable mention. I think that was like number six on my list. I almost even put it on the list. And I actually am pretty sad about that. The Sergeant should be good. Like everything about the Sergeant makes it feel like a pretty good unit. It's actually quite tanky. It has four plus four elite stats, four plus four base armor, meaning you can get seven melee armor and eight range armor, eight pierce armor, which is actually quite a lot of stats. So the sergeant in terms of armor is doing great. Elite Sergeant also has like what, 85 HP and 11 attack. So overall, it's a very strong unit. It does well against most things on paper. But for some reason, I can never get it to work in practice. And practice is just never, not only me, like I never see it doing anything. I watch games daily. I play games daily. I never see Sergeants actually being a big threat or a massive push or something that is worth going for. And to make matters worse for the Sicilians, First Crusade has gotten nerfed like five times in a row. Uh, so now First Crusade is like only getting 25 units. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that tech in general, but it's no denying that it is in a pretty weak spot at the moment. And I don't know, every time I go for sergeants, I always just wish I went for halberdier instead or some other units, completely irrelevant infantry as well. Anything else usually ends up doing better than sergeants. I'm also not buying the whole gimmick of them building dungeons. Maybe we need to make it that sergeants garrisoned in dungeons, they fire arrows or something like that. So we can make it so like the sergeant tower rushing actually makes sense. Because right now, let's say I send 10 sergeants to tower rush, to dungeon rush. If I garrison and my dungeon shoots only the two arrows. It does nothing. It's so weak. So maybe that's a change that can make them a bit more viable in the early game. Because I actually really like the synergy of them building towers, them running around. They raid and they fortify. Like, that's pretty sick. But it just doesn't end up doing well. Either give sergeants the ability to shoot arrows in dungeons or give them the ability to repair siege. Or just make them a villager as well. Like, honestly, at this point, anything can help. But yeah, I was serious up until the last point, obviously. But something about the sergeant just doesn't click for me. And that's why I put it to honorable mention. Again, I don't really know what needs to be changed because the unit on paper sounds really good but just never really does much in practice so it's the kind of situation where the stats don't translate into the results all right, moving on to number one, the absolute worst unique unit and the only unique unit that's absolutely useless on this list or in the game. Terrible, terrible, truly obnoxiously bad unit. It just doesn't even function. It needs an absolute revamp or rework or just flat out just don't have it there. The Civ might be better off. It's the Hasite Wagon. I hate this unit of the passion, guys. I truly believe it doesn't function properly. I don't know what it is, but the whole idea of the unit blocking projectiles or something, somebody needs to sit me down and explain that to me because I don't even know how that works up until this point and i never see anyone using it like that as a support unit it's just not a mechanic that works well with ab2 micro or it just flows well with the kind of fights we're taken and aside from that the unit has like multiple projectiles it's super awkward to micro i think it has good stats and it has a fair price so it has potential but as it is right now it's absolutely like dog water like it's really just obnoxiously bad like as i said earlier i just don't even see what's the purpose of this unit again i'm not buying that whole support unit thing i'm half convinced it doesn't even work but someone needs to explain it to me like I said earlier and uh yeah an easy number one spot on the list for me personally and uh yeah that's gonna do it all right guys thanks for watching the video uh I had a little bit more of a fun tone today just because uh talking about worst units is just always fun to talk about like I said earlier uh just something about like the reactions coming up and also making the list is fun for me I, I just sit there thinking hmm what what's the absolute worst unit like what, what unit that I just hate playing with and I never see doing anything so it's just a fun list for me to make and uh, I really enjoyed it so hope you guys enjoyed the video as well and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace stay safe also subscribe and like and stuff like that peace